So I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's quite windy out, but I stepped on the scale today and it's the first day that um, June goals, I guess you could say, and I was put into tears. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a whole bunch of videos um, that I'll put out later on to show the journey because I want to lose 15 pounds this month and, and we'll see what it turns into. But I went about doing my um, other business and for those that don't know, I also sell Scentsy. So I actually went onto my workstation um, and was looking at an order that I had placed a little bit ago. It says that it's been delivered. Well, it's not at my front door. And they don't put it in my, because I have one of those community mailboxes, they don't put it in there because it's delivered by Pure Later. Um, so I have a mailbox at the end of my road. And so normally I would have hopped on the four wheeler and been all excited to go and check it out. Uh, but not today. Today I don't want to be doing anything. It's a really big day for me for pain. Um, I had to force myself to go in the shower. You'll, <laughs> you'll read all about it, uh, or see all about it when I post a video and about this whole journey, about this particular thing, uh, the weight loss. But I am hurting today and it's not fun. But I decided that I was going to go and... See, like even holding the camera for like a minute my arm's done um, I'm gonna go walk and see if my sense is at the end of the road because they either do one of four things when they deliver it they never sorry one of three things they never put it in my community mailbox because it's pure later that does it so two of the drivers know where our house is but our area is super super weird so our address has the letter B in it right by the number. So it's kind of like apartment B. Except the cabin or the trailer just past us, they don't have a numerical. So they don't have like, say our address is 123B. They don't have the 123. So their address shows is just B. So they get our delivery sometimes we get it dropped at the front door or which it's not there so before i go and and bug the other neighbors um which they're pretty far away from us but before i go and bug them i'm gonna go check my mailbox to see if it's there i needed the walk i need to move my joints let's do this <laughs> so let's see <gasps> Yoo let me tell you Mm. Look, see how close we are to hydro line. It's uh, so we have this one, two, and then the third one down. I think is roundabouts where we want to build. It might be the next one, but and that way we would be on this main road, and that gets plowed and taken care of and maintained. As of right now, in the winter, we have to do all this ourselves, plus our driveway. Well, I already know what Sunkissed Citrus smells like. Um, so, it's a toss-up between tangerine, creamsicle, or, oh, I think... I think we're gonna go for the pina colada cha cha. It is so good. You know, I didn't know that you could <clears throat> use Sensi on solar, and I got rid of all my Sensi warmers before I moved here. And I borrowed a girlfriend's of mine because I went to her house like last year, and I borrowed um, her warmer or a warmer to test on my solar system. And from there, I contacted another friend and just joined up. I love Scentsy. Like, 
I love it. I don't sell it to make money. I sell per se. Um, I never got into it for that. I got into it because I'm like, hey, if once in a while I can get, you know, part of my hobby paid for, then why not do it? And so that's basically what I what I do now is um, I try to earn my my happiness. <laughs> do you guys know a flat iron doesn't take much on solar? I haven't straightened my hair in I don't know how long. Today has been, whoops, I'm shaking the camera. Today has been a really good day. Um, didn't start out that way. I've been waking up, I think I'm a bit dehydrated even though I've upped my water intake big time. But I want to, um, my goal was to make earn $1,500 somehow <clears throat> this month. And so I made my first $50 today, which is awesome. Um, Mike might one-up me though. I think he's going to. Somebody uh, is purchasing our ATV. We are going to sell the ATV and get a different one at another time. Um, we need batteries for our solar system, so I think that's what he said he wanted to uh, put the money towards, but we'll see. Um, I don't know. But anyways, so I raised $50 so far and I'm on track without thinking of anything else. I'm on track to make probably another 450. When I made this goal, <clears throat> Mike got his tushy into gear and he's like, let's do this. Let's, let's sell stuff, right? Um, let's think, let's get creative and think of ways that we can make money. And, uh, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> Um, I also, I sold the car to a family member, and so the car is going to be paid off weekly instead of a big chunk, so now we're down to just the truck with no ETV, um, and these are all things by choice because we want to get further ahead, and they're not easy. Of course I liked having my own vehicle, uh, and of course I loved hopping on the back of an ATV, but we'll get there again. We're going to work tirelessly to try to get ahead um, to put us in a better situation. We are in a really good situation because we don't have a mortgage payment but um, and mostly everything is paid off. We have a little bit of credit card and we also have to finish paying off the truck but for the most part we're you know we're doing pretty good and but there's so many other things that would be so much, we would benefit from so much if we'd sold those big ticket items. I also am going to be posting a ring that is valued at $15,000. I'm probably going to list it for like $3,000. But this has got us really, really trying, you know, like possessions don't mean anything to us. And what we need right now is some kind of income, um, and, and to be creative in thinking of ways to, to carry it forth going forward. And so, so far we're off to a rock in June. I'm, I'm going to say that since today is such a good day, I thought that I would straighten my hair. I haven't done this in years and I'll show you guys when it's all done. what my hair looks like when it's all straight. It's much, much longer. We took mums away last night and we resumed milking this morning. And this is how much we got from both ladies in one milking. And I could have gotten more. So, um, B is still a little bit tricky to milk on one side, but on the other side she does really, really well. So I'm just going to go check on the babies right now. And, ooh, since I'm out here, I'll show you guys my plants that I'm planting. Some of these lovely plants uh, have been donated. You know who you are. Thank you. 
and I've also got these plants that were donated as well um, but we've got quite a bit growing I am gonna go pick up a few items at like a store so that I will have a lot more than what I have there um, because of the sale and us trying to do everything I just didn't get around to doing all the seeds that I wanted to uh, on the other note we have had a ton of dirt brought here and we are going to basically level off a piece right here in hopes that it's going to be as level as that ground there and then we're just going to do a small garden this year right here um, and we'll grow it throughout the, the season but to start with I want the garden that I want and or at least the starting of what I want more permanent but I don't want it on this big hill like I want at least this little bit leveled off I'm also going to do an herb and tea garden in here so we've already got oregano uh, and some chives growing in here I also have ramps that grow over there but we're gonna put in some of them in containers because they're invasive like camel mile we're gonna make this into um, a little herb and tea garden and we're gonna structure these up or get these up a little bit better so that they look nicer than what they are but we have a bunch of these at the top of the property from an old fence and so Mike brought them up to make this kind of an area that we're gonna section off and he also put it down at the end of the driveway down there which funny enough that little bit at the end of the driveway really does make a difference isn't that cool that was Mike's idea gotta give him props for that so a couple days ago I posted the bugs are horrible I posted um, a, a view of what it looks like when I come down to the end of the driveway so this route here is a very pretty scenic view and that is facing east so usually all the storms come from that way and then this is the other view and I just I love coming down here and walking down here and seeing it especially when it's all green or in the fall when it all starts to turn it's beautiful so I'm on a mission. I just posted my ring on the Gigi for sale. Here's to hoping that we sell it. Um, I'm also working on, currently, I run a Scentsy group. So if you love Scentsy, you don't have to buy anything, but if you love being part of the group, you can always come on over and search the Off-Grid Scentsy lady in Facebook, and that's me.